What the hell was that? Ah, oh, that's Jeff. Jeff? Oh, don't worry. He can't see. Here's just fine, though. The best part of Half-Life Alex is Jeff, a spooky, stealthy chapter where you have to stay hidden from a blind puke monster named, well, Jeff. Jeff is strictly attracted to noise, but since this chapter takes place in an abandoned vodka factory, there are plenty of fragile tools for keeping the guy distracted, as long as you don't drop anything. I've never played anything this accessible and scary and cheeky all at once. Here are 34 reasons why I love Jeff. I love the opening death diorama because whatever did all this is clearly a powerful Jeff. I love this quick forced intro to the gross Xenian fart flowers that are cover up. I love the open bar in the tasting room. I love this Instagram view before basement time with Jeff. Some beauty and respite Alex, and emotional out. high before the fall. Alex. I love helping the madman on Jeff Firewatch out of a quick pickle and nice bit of humor to cut the rising tension, don't you think? I love how we're taught the essential Jeff rules early on and from a safe vantage. Half-Life Alex is a kind teacher. I love when my many personal ups are foreshadowed in Jeff's school. It's a good time to reflect on my lack of motor skills. I love bottles, as we learned are invaluable Jeff trolling tools. Fit into your glove inventory. It's a nice touch and reminder of their importance. I love when Larry says hello and cover up or Jeff will hear you cough. It's the final lesson in Jeff school. Jeff preschool, really. I love this first latch. It's something I wish I'll have paid more attention to later on. I love how Valve begins forcing me to do things I know will piss Jeff off like opening doors loudly. Uh, if Valve was my uncle, this would be a gentle uncle shoulder punch. They're teaching me everything I need to know, but using it against me in clever ways. I wouldn't be scared if I didn't know Jeff loved loud noises or hated them, whatever. I love the endless amounts of bottles everywhere. There's an achievement for smashing enough of them and you know I got that shit without trying. You probably will too. And I love how pulling a bottle towards you is a terrible prayer tiny and literal arcs of tension in which I hope I don't drop it or that it catches on anything on the way. I love the moment that I finally recognized the damn latch from earlier, and I knew I had to trap Jeff before using a very loud noisy wheel to open a very noisy door. It's when Half-Life Alex begins layering tricks and puzzles learned from earlier chapters uh, and the genuine brain busters begin. I love how slowly the door opens and with Jeff pounding on the door, he can't break it, but the uncertainty is enough to make it feel like I'm racing against the clock. I love how the tension escalates with Jeff's cries while the elevator screeches down, and of course the damn thing doesn't work. And I, maybe more than anything in the chapter, love the painful realization that I'll have to let Jeff out of the fridge in order to power up the elevator. Sometimes the only way up is down, and that's the ultimate lesson of Jeff. <laughs> also to live, laugh, and consume. I love the alarm booby trap here. Get too hasty and you're circuit flipping and you'll trigger an alarm right above your head. It's a cruel, cruel, cruel trick that makes for a perfect moment of horror movie panic. I love how this moment goes from zero to 160 seconds. I'm now using a flashlight to navigate on one hand while holding onto a vodka bottle with the same hand, performing a circuit puzzle with my other hand and listening to track Jeff movements. And once I finish, I'm covering my mouth to get back to the elevator. Jeff isn't a big problem himself, but while spinning all these plates, suddenly any little thing that goes wrong puts me at risk. I'm the clumsy guy in the horror film, and everyone in the theater is screaming at me. I love this chill elevator ride with Jeff, cheesy music, and oh my god! I love this little chasing ripped right out of amnesia, clumsy hands included. I love that the hub for the final gauntlet takes place inside that same Instagram photo from earlier. And I love how each dip back into Jeff's realm for a power cell literally feels like diving underwater, a murky subterranean realm where I hold my breath for long periods of time. But I love how I can also just chill up here and screw with Jeff to work out some of my conflicting feelings for the guy. I love these time bombs, these bottles placed by cruel developers ready to roll out and hit the ground. But I also love my reflexes, the reflexes of a god. I love every panicked sprint to the ladder, the same vibe I used to get turning off the basement light and running up the steps. I love this little hidey spot, and I love this little hidey spot, and I especially love this little hidey spot. Jeff is easy to evade, but extremely easy to attract. I rarely died in the Jeff chapter, but I had innumerable close calls, and I'm pretty sure that's about what Valve is going for. 
uh, getting puked on over and over again doesn't sound like fun, especially in VR. I love head grab bowling. I love that I can choose to simply lock Jeff into the trash compactor with the hope that he might once again be free to be irritable and sick on anything that makes a peep at the back of my mind forever. It's a shame because I love the sound Jeff makes when I turn on the trash compactor way more. But most of all, I love Jeff because Half-Life Alex would be a lesser game without the ugly ding dong. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate you. <laughs>